Okay, there was a question on how to get a curved flange around a bend in Solid Edge. Or this is one way to go about it. Use the contour flange, and in the drop down here, get the contour flange. And there's several ways to start your sketch, but I'll use plain normal to curve, and then I'll select the inside edge. It's, uh, I think it's important to remember which edge you've selected. Once you've selected that edge, you can place the plane at one end or the other, and then you can sketch your flange. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but again, I want to make sure that I'm sketching from the point where I started, and I'll do this, and then I'll add a little tail. It, it would be easier to just pull a flange from a set of edges, but they make you go through the sketching routine so that you can make a more complicated set of flanges if that's what you want to do. Anyway, um, I'm done sketching, so I'll right-click and then hit Close Sketch. This does kind of what you expect it to do if you're only going to get a straight flange. But that's not what we want here. So I'm going to click on Chain, and in the Chain box here, I'll select Edge. And I'll rotate it around, select, and select. So it's, uh, once you know how to do it, it's easy, but um, it's getting to that point where you know how to do it. This will create a flat pattern for you as well. Once I get out of the uh, flange tool, it'll, it'll make a flat pattern. You can go back and forth between formed and flat.